I'm going to show you how to flash a Debian image onto the BeagleBoard EMMC. The Debian image that you're going to download is a version of Linux, sometimes called Flavor of Linux, that the BeagleBoard uses to program in. Um, of course, it is a Linux kernel, so it will have a root access. Uh, the image is a binary file that you're going to copy. It is an ISO file that you're going to transport onto the EMMC. Uh, the Beagle Board, in our case, is going to be the Beagle Board Blue. It's a development board that you're using to program on. The EMMC is the embedded multimedia controller. It contains flash memory and a memory controller. It's what during the boot loader looks for when it's booting up, and it's on board the actual um, Beagle Board Blue. Uh, Etcher is the program that we're going to be using to flash the SD card. Uh, Etcher is open source software that you can flash any ISO onto a micro SD or a USB. Um, our particular image is going to come from this this um, URL. Um, here is the root of the URL where you can see updates. But the specific version that we're going to be using, we're just going to want to copy that whole URL and hit enter. As you can see, it's automatically downloading. It doesn't take long. It's not a, that big of a file. It's 700 megabytes. It'll take about a minute, maybe. We'll wait for that to download. And while that's downloading, you're going to want to download Etcher is the software you're going to use to flash the SD from your laptop or computer. So go to the Etcher website. This is the front page of the Etcher website. Um, as you can see, it says download for Mac OS. You can download for Windows and Linux, 32-bit, 64, whichever. And you just want to click download. And you can see the download starting. I already have the software, so we're just going to use it as is, no need to re-download it. And the next step is you're going to use Etcher to transfer the Debian image onto the SD card. So let's open up Etcher. So from Etcher we're going to select an image. The image that we want is the one that we just downloaded. And target's going to be the SD. Target will automatically appear and um, then the flash will turn blue. Just click flash and I'll flash the SD card again. When the SD card is done, you're going to want to take the SD card out, uh, the micro SD card out of the SD reader and plug that into your, um, your, your BeagleBoard Blue SD port. The SD port is on the bottom of the blue. It looks like this. It's right next to the micro USB. Um, see if we can get a better image. See these two antennas right here? It's on the other side. Uh, there'll be a USB right here, and then there'll be an SD port right here. You're just going to want to plug in the SD to there. Once you do that, you're going to want to push this button right here. This button tells the bootloader to load from the SD port and not from the online EMMC. Likely your EMMC will have other people's software or something else that you don't want to boot that way. So how you boot from it is that you hold down this button and then you plug in the power to the board. When you power the board, you'll see some lights over here blinking. That's fine, they'll blink erratically. So that's just saying that information is being read from the SD card. Um, it'll take two or three minutes, but then it'll start to turn blue, um, solid blue, and then repeatedly turn on and off and blink in an order. Once it starts to do that, you know that it's transferring the information from your SSD to the EMMC. Um, it might take up to 10, 15 minutes to do so, so you can walk away from it, it's fine, nothing bad will happen. Um, you'll see a light over here that turns on as well. That's to signify that power is being, uh, the board is powered on. And 
Once this image is done transferring from the SD to the EMMC, it'll turn off. These lights over here will turn off and this light will turn off. So you'll know that it's transferred. Once it's done that, you unplug it from the USB and plug it back in. And then you'll see this power light will turn on again and these lights will turn on again. You can take the SD card out at this moment. You don't need it anymore. It's already transferred to the EMMC and that's what we want. From there you can type in 192.168.6.2 to make sure that your board you can communicate with it over the USB network. It should pull up the Cloud9 IDE. Um, if it doesn't, then you might have some issues and have to reflash again. The good thing about flashing it is that you don't you don't need to flash the SD card multiple times. You can flash multiple EMMCs on different boards using one SD card. It's very useful. And as you can see, mine's actually not plugged in at the moment, but I don't know where the cable went. But you can see how to flash the image. It's very simple. And again, if this was actually flashed, then you would uh, type in 192.168.6.2 to use the USB debugging feature to pull up the Cloud9 IDE. If it pulls up, then you know that you flashed it correctly. Thanks and giggle.